All right, what is up, my friends? Holy freaking cow. <laughs> they did it. Let's give Voices of a Coast a hand. Immediate, powerful action. We have so much to go through over here uh, because they have taken a sweeping stroke. Um, all the things they didn't do last band announcement that everyone was really mad about, flip the switch. Uh, we have so much to talk about here and not much time to do it. Let's go. Standard, reclamation. It won't load, but it's banned. Finally, we get, we're gonna hear a lot of clapping in this one. Reclamation's gone. The king is dead. And reclamation out of the format, obviously it's been dominating basically everything lately. And it's funny because Teferi, if Teferi wasn't legal, reclamation would be destroying the world. Teferi kind of keeps it in check, but has his own problems. Growth spiral's banned. Why is it going, why is it loading so slow? Um, great. Honestly, there's too much good ramp in the format. Just be gone. Good riddance. Teferi, they've hit all the major cornerstones here. This is going to be a brand new format. Now Teferi is banned. Now, obviously everyone's very vocal about this card. Teferi is really annoying. Um, this is just a, a, a design mistake for sure. And banning Teferi, that's a good idea. That's just a good move. Again, once you have Voices of the Coast. Didn't get right the first time, but now they're getting it right. Um... And then the other pillar of the format, of course, is Cat Oven decks, right? Um, it's funny. I've said a lot of times that if Teferi and Reclamation and Growth Spiral weren't like the major catalyst for the format, right? If all, if all the decks in Standard weren't built around making a million mana, ramping to whatever, playing big dumb spells, the Sacrifice deck would be unbeatable. The Rakdo Sacrifice in particular, but also Jun Sacrifice, is so good against any creature deck. Claim the Firstborn, Witch's Oven, uh, Mayhem Devil. It's just so... If you're playing creature deck, it's so hard to beat them. So this is a very smart preemptive ban here. Um, Call of Familiar, you're gone. That makes Witch's Oven not nearly as good anymore. And they've basically axed the major pillars of the format here. Um, Call of Familiar is gone, so Witch, Witch Cat or Cat Oven doesn't work anymore. Teferi's gone, so screw Teferi. And then Growth Spiral and Reclamation are gone. This is great. Um, everyone was dying for rotation. And now we have a whole new format to play for the next few weeks before our, or next month or two, I guess, before the next set comes out. This is awesome. Um, I think this is great. A little overdue, a little overdue, but this is what needs to be done. And I think that a big thing right now is with COVID and no paper events, we're all playing online anyway. On Arena, you get the wild cards back. On Magic Online, people are using like you know card borrowing services. The impact financially isn't as bad, so they're much more much more cool doing this. So, A plus, A plus versus of a coast. Big big ups on catching Calder Familiar too. I think that one. I think people would have clamored for Teferi and Reclamation to go, but I think Growth Spiral and Calder Familiar also going is big game. Love it. A plus. Let's keep going here. Next up is Pioneer. Now Pioneer was the most laughable of the last ban announcement. They unbanned Oath of Nyssa, and that was it. And Pioneer has been a hellscape wasteland of two-card combo decks since Theros Beyond Death came out. Um, just Inverter plus Oracle. Walking Buster plus Heliod. Underworld Breach plus stuff. And it's honestly sucked. It shouldn't be a combo format. I've been very, very vocal about this, that... Modern is your crazy format where you have combo decks galore and things go really, really wild. Um, but Pioneer, if Pioneer is to have its own identity, it can't just be modern light. And the impression that I got from people, my personal impression was that everyone hated Pioneer after loving it so much in the beginning. So they've gone here and they've actually done it. They've actually removed all the combo decks in the format, all the, the consistent good combo decks. So no more inverter. Uh, no more Walking Bust to Heliod, which is great. No more Underworld Breach. You can still Lotus Field, which I'm a little sketch about because there was a Lotus Field deck before Breach was, put, was printed. Um, we'll see how that goes. And they nipped Kethys before it could really get going here. Kethys is also a possible, possible combo deck. Um, it was playable in Standard for a bit and probably very good in Pioneer when all these other combo decks are gone. So another smart preemptive nip here, hitting Kethys the Hidden Hand. Uh, to go along with Inverter, Ballista, and Breach. And now Pioneer's back to being super standard. You know, what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a format where you can play your old standard cards. 
So now you can do that and it'll feel like a more standard, fair magic. We're going to play some cards and play some spells and we're going to play 10 turns or whatever and we're going to play magic. Not just like, oops, Heliod kill you or oops, Inverter kill you. So love this change. Way, way overdue. The last um, announcement, I was very adamant that Watsi don't care about Pioneer. This is a complete 180 on that one. And um, I thought they were just going to jettison Pioneer for Historic and just kind of get rid of it. This shows that they're not going to do that. That they're going to actually make some Pioneer stuff happen. Pioneer is still a format. They still care about it. And that's great. Um, Pioneer, I had lost all interest in Pioneer. And now I have more. So that's another A+. plus. Let's get a hand in chat for, for Watsi here. Another home run. Historic. They're going to suspend Reclamation and suspend to Ferry. Now, having played the Arena Open yesterday in Historic, winning $1,000 of my Goblin deck. <laughs> um, this is fine. Reclamation into Ferry. I don't think the Ferry is like busted in Historic. Reclamation, the deck was pretty good. It was doing really, really well. But honestly, M. I'll get a better sensor beep. I gotta, I gotta do that. We're still working on that. Realistically, Reclamation and Teferi are just terrible designs. And I have no problem at all with them removing these cards from the format. Just completely. Because they suck, honestly. I think that there's a, an amount of like, maybe that card's a little too good becomes a legacy or a linchpin in legacy or modern, but there's been too much of that lately. And some of these cards are just, just bad designs, you know, like the fairy just sucks. The fairy is not a fun magic card and it was banned in everything. I don't know who would bat an eye. Who'd be like, man, I wish the fairy was still legal, you know? So I don't have a problem with this. Historic might need a little bit more work. Um, I do think Moxus is, is a little too good. And as it's just a one card win condition, um, we're still kind of seeing results from historic anyway, but this is fine. I'm cool with this. Suspending. Suspended also means not banned yet. So you don't get your wild cards, which is kind of annoying, and they might unsuspend it, but we'll see. And then in Brawl, Teferi is banned. I don't really care about Brawl. Sure. Screw Teferi. Whatever. So um, they got all the reasoning here, but I already gave my reasoning, and uh, there's a lot of reasoning here. I'm going to read through this, actually. I haven't done that yet because it literally just came out. Um, and this is great, too. They just fired this off. They didn't give... We're going to announce an announcement of an announcement of an announcement and let everyone sit for a week knowing their format was just dead and worthless. So big ups to Wizards for listening to everyone. This is great. I'm happy. You should be happy too. Um, let's play some new standard, new pioneer, right? That's awesome. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'm Jim Davis. If you haven't followed the channel, follow the channel. Uh, if, you're on, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Take 10 seconds. Really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts. Did they, did they do good here? Did they do bad? Did they go too far? I don't think they did. I don't think I did, all right? YouTube folks, I love you. See you soon.